I mean, I don't know who started it, but it was, it, whoever it was, it was doing fa the fascists a really great service, because that's, that's what destroyed Spain. In 1936, Dutch filmmaker Helen van Dongen is living in New York. The question of a film about Spain and the Civil War up there became eminent, and Dos Passos wrote the script for me. John Dos Passos, an acclaimed American writer with a deep social conscience, as revealed in his most famous trilogy, USA, had spent time in Russia and had close links to the American Communist Party. Spain and Flames came first. That's the one that I made. That was my film. I made the film. It was entirely stock material. Spain in Flames was the beginning of making the people aware of what was going on. Van Dongen's film got very limited distribution. It turned out very quickly that the material was insufficient, and then it was Lillian Hellman, Archibald McLeish, John Dos Passos wanted to make the world known what was going on in Spain, that that was, you know, a real fascist war. They got together and formed contemporary historians and raised some money and asked Joris Evans to go to Spain and film. Evans and Helen van Dongen had been collaborators since their time in Holland. Before I went to to. Spain, I was about a year in the United States, you know, so many people I knew already, Dos Passos also, and Lillian Hellman, you see, before I went to Spain. Ivins signs on to make a film for contemporary historians. Joris Ivins had an international reputation as a filmmaker of the left. Before arriving in the United States, he had been working in the Soviet Union, but he had felt constricted by its government-run film industry. In an America deep in an economic depression, he finds a growing anti-establishment cinema amenable to his influence. Most of the people even that were on the left uh, at that time were also were anti-fascist, you know. It was a called movement. It was only, you must see, it was a world movement. It was no wonder that in, in America many intellectuals, also many people in Hollywood, joined this movement, you know. A militant left recognizes that the Spanish War is a struggle against fascism. Labor, artists, writers strive to change public opinion and ultimately to move President Roosevelt and Congress away from what the left believes to be a false neutrality. In Spain, the Nazi Condor Legion carries out the new tactic of bombing with the aim of total destruction including indiscriminate attacks on civilian targets. It was the first time that fascist forces from Germany and from Italy interfered military with bombardment and with weapons in the uh, course of uh, the people's war. It's important, you know. Loyalist mobs destroyed churches. Priests and nuns are murdered. Much of the media, encouraged by the Catholic Church, denounces the Republicans as a communist atheist mob. And so the propaganda on the right was already talking about this being um, really a, a communist international, a communist effort, whereas on the left they saw this as a Republican cause, a Democratic cause that certainly had influence and ties to the communists and to the socialists, but that fundamentally it was about um, is anti-fascist, basically. 